me, Ares, son of Hera and Zeus. Throughout ancient Greece and especially in Sparta, he was worshipped as the god of war. Now, Athena is also called the god of war, but she is the strategic goddess of war, known to win wars with as few casualties as possible. But Ares, her brother, he's the god of war of attrition, meaning he kills as many enemies as possible and goes out of his way to kill more enemies until all of his enemies are dead. When speaking to soldiers, Ares once said, I am the god of everything that man makes to make you not. Meaning, he is an expert with every weapon, with any weapon, from the smallest blade to the biggest device that goes boom. Ares uses it to its fullest potential. And it ain't just weapons. He's also a master of any and all fighting styles. Striking, grappling, whatever it is, Ares puts foot to ass. And his goal? To cause as much war as possible, participate in as many of those wars as possible, and then to draw as much power as he can from those conflicts. Truly despicable, Ares is known to be overly brutal on the battlefield and even makes blankets for his bed with the flesh of his fallen enemies. Truly disgusting. How did Kratos find himself in the service of such a dastardly god? Well, there was this one time. The youngest and boldest captain in the Spartan army, Kratos inspired fierce loyalty in his men. It had always been enough to carry them through any battle until this day. The barbarians to the east numbered in the thousands and descended on the Spartans without mercy. The battle lasted near hours. The discipline and training of the Spartans did little to stem the tide of the merciless barbarians. The soldiers faced a massacre, while their young captain faced the end of his brilliant career and his life. But to Kratos, victory was worth any price, even his soul. Ares! Destroy my enemies, and my life is yours. Uh-oh. What have you done now? That desperate call for aid will come to haunt Kratos for all his days. By the gods. What have I become?